Welcome back to another Bangers Initial Impressions Kickstarter video. So this is actually my Kickstarter game of the week. This is Trailblazer, the John Muir Trail. Now we are hiking in the high Sierras of California. Look, I've never been there, but look at it. It looks bloody beautiful. The trees, the mountains, the water. Oh, it looks so gorgeous. The reason it looks so gorgeous, Andrew Bosley artwork. Andrew Bosley of Everdale fame, my favorite artist. Oh, I couldn't resist looking at this game. And of course, it's gonna be my pick of the week. So let's go check out the campaign. So here we go, $60,000 Australian, which is $40,000 US, already raised 849 backers. Now, we're a bit under a day into the campaign with 27 days left to go, so plenty of time to raise more funds. So let's go check out this video here. And again, just starting off with that Andrew Bosley artwork, something about that nature theme with Andrew Bosley, it just had to be my pick of the week. That looked it's simple as that. It's a, it's, a, it's a me sort of game. It's a hoax sort of game. And there's a look at that game board there. And that's the, going to be the John Muir Trail. And first look at some of our beautiful artwork there. Whole bunch of cards. We're going to go through all of them shortly once we get into the campaign. So one thing that is interesting about this, so you see that you're going to have to actually hike down a trail, and that's right at the end, which is Mount Whitney. Now this is like Gugong. So in Gugong, you've got to go up the Emperor Track, and if you don't get to the top of the Emperor Track at the end of the game, it doesn't matter how many points you have, you can't win the game. And it's the exact same with this. If you don't get to Mount Whitney, it doesn't matter how many points you got, you can't, you can't win it. Simple as that. And now it's going to be a resource collection game. You're going to be collecting these resources, trading them in for cards, trading them in for points, it's very simple, very simple Euro stuff, nothing groundbreaking here. And there's a few look at more of your resources there, and on the top right there is going to be your backpack, and you'll be collecting these tokens to go into your backpack. Now these are going to be your trail cards. Every round you're going to collect one trail, trail card, and then you're going to play one trail card, and they're basically just trading them in for different resources. Yep, and you use those resources there to you know, buy some animal cards, look, destination cards, a whole bunch of different cards there. Anyway, that's a, that's a good enough there video, so let's get into the campaign now. Now, there's a good look at everything there. So that's your game board, how it's gonna be mapped out there. On, on the left there's gonna be your map there, that's the John Muir Trail. You have the Elevation Trail there, and on the right it's gonna be your resources and some cards, plus your individual player boards. Okay. Now, first day backers, get a first player miniature token. Look, a pair of stinky old boots, why not? Johnny Pack says, says it's breathtaking. Johnny Pack of Coloma fame. I love Johnny, so here we go. Look at this artwork. This is what's striking to me. This is, this is by far away to me the highlight of the game. It's just these destination cars. That, that is just perfect, perfect art. I love it. Oh, and you're gonna get 48 of them and one game board and some hiker meeples and stuff. So you'll look at a whole bunch of stuff here. They're gonna be your individual player boards, your backpacks there, and they're gonna be those gear and patch tokens that you're gonna place onto your backpack. So you're always gonna place them down, left hand side, down the bottom. So, and you're gonna go one, two, three, and once you collect three in a row there, you're gonna get a resource. And that's how it's gonna work all the way up there. And look at some of our tokens. Some of the field guide cards, and that's going to be a different illustrator. That doesn't look like Andrew Bosley artwork to me, so, but that's fine. Look, I, I got no problems with it. Here we go, Tr more trial cards. Now, these are going to be end game scoring, these journey bonus arrowheads. So, very similar to, again, so many different Euro games before it, but it's just end game scoring. You want to collect them to get end game scoring. They're like little multipliers at the end. Now, 24 weather tokens. So, this game is played over 12 rounds, so they're basically 12 days. Each day is going to have a different uh, weather, and that weather is going to affect how that how that round is going to play for you. 72 natural resource tokens. Yep, some personal tokens. Look, they're all just different resources, and some medallions. Medallions are going to be different and uh, different scoring as well. So, but each one of them is going to play differently. A solo mode by John D. Clare. Uh, Dead Reckoning, Cubitos, uh, what else? Oh, look, he's done a whole bunch of stuff there, but John D. Clare's done the solo mode for this. Um, here we go. Uh, what do we got here? So this is V here doing an unboxing. Go check out this video of hers. She does a great job with her unboxings. 
Look, a whole bunch more quotes there. Oh, there we go. John D. Clare did Mystic Veil, Cubitos, Dead Reckoning, and Space Base. Look, John D. Clare, he's done a lot of things. Now he's done this solo mode. Okay, how to play. John Gates Games. Go check out the video. Great video. And a whole bunch more there. Look, even Brent Dickman from Elf Creek Games, even he says this is tight and wonderful. Well done to you, Brent. I appreciate that. Real book, go check it out. A whole bunch more quotes, a whole bunch more reviews. Okay. Now, this is what actually matters. This is the bread and butter here, $59 US for the game. Now, there is no deluxe game, there is no standard game, it's just one version of it. So this is what you get, $59 US, and you get everything down there, all those components, plus the solo mode, plus any stretch goals. Now, so far, we've already unlocked, again, we're only one day into the campaign, already unlocked some Black Bear and Bluebird mini expansion. Look, I love more, more, more meeples, they're great. Linen finish, yep, nice, cool, whole bunch of stuff there, but this is what's cool. Custom bird trail point markers. Now, is this not one of the nicest like player tokens I've ever seen? I absolutely adore this. And maybe it's because I'm a bird nerd, but I just love them. So anyway, let's make sure we at least get them there. Look, retailers, why back now? Because they need money, makes sense, and shipping. Now, USA 12 bucks, that seems reasonable. Poor old Australia, 35. Oh, oh, it's a bit, it's a bit, bit harsh. But anyway, they that's the, you know where you live, you know how much now it's going to cost. Postage everywhere is through the roof, and the team behind it, Dan R. Rice the Third. What a bloody amazing name! I love that name. He's the designer, and he reckons that this game is amazing because he made it. Andrew Bosley, a whole bunch of other people there, and there we go. And Mariposa Games, they're the ones who are bringing you this. Look, that's it. Look, I'm I'm pretty damn excited. Again, there's a reason why this was my pick of the week. There's a lot of good games out there at the moment. Um, over on GameFound, Ra's on there, and that's a great auction game. Uh, they just released um, Tiny Epic Vikings. Tiny Epic Viking, Vikings already like you know raised like 300,000 or something, doing great guns as well on Kickstarter. A lot of really good games, but you know, nothing stood out to me except for this game. This was the only game I wanted to cover this week. It just is such a hoax sort of game. Nature, theme, you know, beautiful artwork, simple Euro mechanics, games I can play with my family, games I can also play with my friends on game night. Like, it, it will just work. Look, I, I, I really, really like this, and I hope more people will get eyes on this campaign. It's just a, a sort of game that, you know, if you're into sort of Euro games, into family games, I think this is something that can really sell on a shelf and is going to get some game time. Look, that's it, really. I, I think this is a winner. Look, I think this is a, a chance for you to back something a little bit different. You know, a, a smaller designer, a smaller team, a smaller publishing team. They need your support. Look, I don't get any money out of this or anything. I just do this because I love board games and I pick the games that interest me and the games that I love. So there we go. That's my, my pick of the week. So look, if you enjoyed what I, you know, enjoyed this video, like and subscribe, comment, give me anything. I absolutely would appreciate anything. You know, simple thumbs up goes a long way to help with the YouTube algorithm. Look, I love making these videos, but I also love getting feedback that I'm doing the right thing and you guys and girls are really enjoying it. So, look, that's it from me. I'm Hoax. This is Board Game Bangers. Till next time, laters.